Hi guys and welcome to TechBased. In this video, we're going to talk about the latest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the Canary channel, which is the build 25982 for version 23H2. In this video, we're going to talk about what is new, what has changed, and also what is fixed in the latest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the Canary channel. If you enjoy videos like these, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBased channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. Before starting the video, a quick message from our video sponsor. This video is sponsored sponsored by cdks.top. cdks.top is a platform where you can get Windows and Office licenses at a very good price. On this platform, you can get Windows 10 Pro licenses at the very good price of just $14 and the Windows 11 Pro license at just $19 when you use the coupon code from the description. Office licenses also have a good price and when using the coupon code, you get an even better price. Check out the great deals from cdks.top in the description below and don't forget to apply the coupon code. Thank you to cdks.top for the sponsorship. Let's continue with a video. First of all, the highlight from this build is that Microsoft is beginning to roll out Copilot in preview to Windows Insiders in the Canary channel, but you need to remember that this is gradually rolling out, so you can try to manually enable it using the videos that I've done already with the Vive tool commands, also the eligibility settings that you can do, and if you still don't have it, you can test it out by using Windows plus R to open the run box and type in this command that will be in the article below in the video description. We've talked about it before, basically it's the command that will automatically launch Copilot on your system. You can test it out even if you don't have it already enabled automatically in your taskbar or in your operating system because basically it will just launch the Bing chat from Microsoft Edge as the Microsoft Copilot AI Assistant is based on Microsoft Edge and the Bing chat. We also have some news regarding SMB client encryption. With this build, SMB now supports requiring encryption of all outbound SMB client connections. More info about this in the article below if you're interested in that. We also have some news regarding networking. Discovery of network designated Resolvers DNR is an upcoming internet standard to discover encrypted DNS servers. Until today, Windows Insider's users had to find out the IP address of their desired encrypted DNS server and manually enter it to configure client-side encrypted DNS on their machine. DNR will enable Windows Insider users to use encrypted DNS protocols like DNS over HTTPS and DNS over TLS on the client side without requiring manual configuration. Client-side support for DNR is now available in Windows Insider preview build 25982 and higher. You can check more info about that in the article below. Related to dev drives, REFS file system block cloning support is now available in the Windows Copy Engine. This already supports block cloning, so this feature adds native support to copy actions and APIs on Windows. Regarding remote desktop, Microsoft updated the remote desktop connection to now support zoom options of 350, 400, 450, and also 500%. Regarding settings, if you are in light mode, the show accent color on start and tab Passport toggle is grayed out by design and Microsoft will now show an information bullet that makes it more clear the setting is only available in Windows dark mode. We also have some fixes in this build. Microsoft fixed an issue causing voice access to crash for insiders in the Canary channel when dictating text. They fixed a few issues which could lead to hangs when launching File Explorer. And they also fixed an issue causing the print queue to be inaccessible and show an error if you try to open it. And we also have a known issue. Some popular games may not work correctly on the most recent insider preview builds in the Canary channel. And you can leave a feedback in the feedback hub if you have any issues on these builds. So basically, this is the latest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the Canary channel. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel Home TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.